Corinthian Rishon, 1 Corinthians 2. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahusha HaMashiach and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Ruach and of power, that your belief should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yah. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of Yah in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified at the Yah of glory. But as it is written, Eye has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man hath the things which Yahweh has prepared for them that love him. But Yah has revealed them unto us by his Ruach, for the Ruach searches all things, yea, the deep things of Yahweh. For what man knows hath the things of a man save the Ruach of man which is in him? Even so, the things of Yah knows no man but by the Ruach Yahweh. Now we have received not the Ruach of the world, but the Ruach which is of Yahweh, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Ruach HaKadosh teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receives not the things of the Ruach, Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who has known the mind of Eth, Ruach, Yahweh, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of the Ruach, HaMashiach. <laughs>